folks, I think this thing's recording. Still trying to learn it. And it is early morning. Another one of them nights I didn't sleep the best. So I'm up real early. Oh. So I was reading a little bit online. Watched a couple of short videos people had sent me. That paper cut on my thumb hurts. Uh, and of course, you know, it's my morning sinus drainage. Oh, you just got to tolerate it. If you uh, are one of these snowflakes and you think somebody blowing their nose is one of them disgusting habits, and I've had one tell me that in the past, I've tolerated you and your disgusting habits of blowing your nose. Guess what? It's a bodily function. It happens. Go melt somewhere else. I don't give a damn. My sinus is drained. I'd rather blow my nose than have it running all down my face and down my chest and out the door and grow up. And yeah, that's pretty much what this video is going to be about. Grow up, America. What the hell has happened? You know, I've told you in some of my past videos that I personally believe a lot of our problems stem back to the hippie days. Because a lot of them doped up, smoked out from beach fried color listening music watching idiots are now in Washington D.C. I don't think they ever grew up. I think they're still a bunch of damn 1960's teenager protesting dope smoking freaks that they were back then they're still the same damn thing they just got older they didn't mature they just learned how to work the system a little bit <coughs> they learned to live those same if you can't beat them join them so they did. They used to protest the politicians and the politics. They couldn't beat it. So I think they joined it. Well, we got Bill and Hillary and Nancy and old Chucky boy and a lot of others. Because some of their dumbass ideas they come up with and the sad part is, is that we allowed them to breed. They should have been neutered and casserated back in the 60s. I'm all for free speech and all that stuff. I really am. I couldn't be making these videos and running off in my mouth if I didn't believe in free speech. And if it's good for me, it's good for everybody else, as long as it's only speech. The thing is, is that not only do we have those dumbasses in elected positions, now some of their offsprings want to run and getting elected. What set me off this morning? I get reading where one of the Democratic presidential nominees, and I don't care if it's true or not, because it's of the mindset that they are in. So even if it could be proven that this was fake news, which would not surprise me, 
It also would not surprise me that it was real news and that they was actually saying this garbage. And what they were saying is they think that Social Security should be extended to, uh, to include illegal immigrants because it's their right. Now tell me they ain't on some damn good dope. Either they're the dumbest asshole that woke up this morning or they're on some damn good dope. Do I need to break it down? Do y'all see what the issue is there? Stupid. Now I had somebody send me a little video the other day. And I watched it. Old long-haired individual. Big old beard. And yes, I'm jealous. I used to grow my hair long and don't look right with that bald spot in it now. Kind of looks like somebody lawn with a bald spot in it. This old boy, he got going on. And uh, he got talking about that shooting over there where was that New Zealand here lately? And he said, here it is, barely a week, 10 days. There I go with that disgusting habit. I know I could get some over-the-counter drugs that would dry that up. No, thank you. I'd rather let nature take its course. But he said, here it is, hardly even happened. He said, and they can already tell you who the shooter is, uh, what his political agenda was, what shoe size he wore, what he had for breakfast the morning of. Said, there we are, a year after the Vegas shootings, and they still can't figure out why. And our why was uh, with lots of cameras showing how and why. Well, maybe not why, but how. Vegas is ate up with video cameras. So tell me somebody ain't hiding something in that Vegas deal. That was where he was leaning, and I got to agree with him. I've said that all along when I seen some of the reports that was coming out. Just a little bit after where they're breaking down some of the video that they got hold of. And the sounds with the shots and where the shots are supposedly hitting wasn't matching up. And they said there's more than one shooter. Well, they had a period of about three shooters. Still ain't heard no more about that either. Our government, for years now, over 40 years that I know of, they had a cow that came down with mad cow disease. And they traced that cow all the way back to the stall that it was born in. Literally. I'm not making it up. Literally. They traced it all the way back to the farm, to the barn, to the stall. That was over 40 years ago. But yet today, we have issues figuring out the answers to a bunch of these shootings. Sandy Hook, they still ain't figured all that one out. Huh. Vegas, still ain't figured all that one out. That's kind of funny, ain't it? But yet, as soon as they happen, they are using those as a tool to try to beat us over the head, telling me my own guns is wrong. 
To my knowledge, guns was not used on 9-11. We used everything but, but we ain't outlawed airplanes. We ain't outlawed box cutters or none of this other stuff. Overseas, they're strapping bombs to themselves. I guess we've outlawed bombs, ain't we? Maybe they should outlaw them over there. Drunk drivers kill more people than guns. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know that for a fact. But I bet it's pretty accurate. We've outlawed drunk drivers, but we haven't outlawed uh, cars. Huh. We've outlawed murdering people, but now they want to outlaw guns. That plastic wire back there makes me fat. We ain't outlawed it. Where are we going as a nature? Nation, as a nature, as a nation. You know, I was looking on my YouTube statistics. And there was a couple of them for giggles. I hit the lifetime, so it showed me the lifetime of the channel. And pretty little graph. What do you think the graph for our nation would look like? The one on us being stupid, I think, would go pretty high. The one on us losing our courage, I think, would go pretty high. They talked to us, not you and I, because we wasn't of age. Some of us weren't even born. They talked us into this Social Security bill years ago. And now they're trying to, it was a volunteer thing to hear them tell it. Have you ever had your boss or anybody ask you if you wanted Social Security taken out of your check? Kind of seems like they automatically do it, don't it? And some of you that want to work on a 1099, I've got news for you. When you're doing your taxes, don't pay your Social Security yet. See if they let you know it really ain't volunteer. They'll be talking to you. So we've gone from this as a volunteer thing to now it's demanded. And it's gone from being for those that worked and paid in to whoever knows how to work the system. We all know some people that are on it that really don't need to be on it, now don't we? The hell of it is on that, even the whistleblowers have told stories and turned people in. And I don't mean people that are illegally getting it or getting it by false pretenses. They're turning them in on the IRS and on the Social Security for the corrupt system that we have. Nobody wants to hear it. Huh. So now we've gone from it being voluntary to man mandated to our own people abusing it to now our elected idiots want to give it to people that ain't even supposed to be here. They have a right? A right? That shows me that they were stoned in school because they don't understand the definition of right. It's ridiculous. 
I heard one of the uh, political idiots running his mouth about our deficit. And he's telling how Social Security is the biggest part of our deficit. That's a crock of bull. Our Social Security is not even supposed to be there because it's paid in. You and I, the working people right now, are paying in the money that is supposed to be paying the people that are on Social Security. Whether they deserve it or not, you and I are supposed to be paying it in. And he's trying to tell how uh, Social Security is 70% of the deficit. No, you're wrong. You're not telling me that the chump change that you give to the people that did work for it because you'll find out those that are claiming disability and all that, they're collecting more than the you and I that retire and try to collect it. We're only going to get seven, eight hundred dollars less than a thousand. Those that are claiming disability, they're getting over a thousand dollars a month. used to be a saying that uh, crime didn't pay. In today's world it does. Dishonesty does pay. They're proving that. You know, they uh, reported that shooting at the mosque. I mean, did that make the news or what? Instantly, quick, fast, and in a hurry. It made all the news. Worldwide. Like I said, they know all kinds of information about that shooter. But yet we have Christians that are being slaughtered. And they just don't seem to report it. Huh. Why do you think that is? You know Papa Joe's version? Because the devil rules the world. The Bible tells us that. The devil rules the world. And if he is out here trying to influence these minds and lives like he is, why would he want to bring attention to stuff that would make him look bad? If the devil has an agenda, and he does, why would he want to bring something into the, the game that would hurt his agenda? Well, now I got a lot of people that are watching this if they've made it this far. And they're saying, oh, he's saying that all the politicians and the news reporters are evil and doing God, the devil's work and not God's. Yeah, you're right, I am. That's exactly what I'm saying. I got news for you. Over 90% of this world is doing the devil's calling. That's a fact. If you're a, a true God-fearing person, you might want to reevaluate yourself. Are you doing his bidding for him? We all do to a degree. And he'd be getting on the winning side. I read the book. I know how the book ends. That last chapter is a hard one to read, but I know who wins. You know, part of the deal they play with the uh, 
news and all this during elections. Some of the false polls they give you and all that stuff. I told you during the election that they do that stuff because nobody really wants to vote for the losing candidate. So if they can convince you that the loser is really winning, then they would persuade you to get your vote over that way because you really don't want to vote for the losing side. Boy, did that backfire on them with Trump. Well, it's the same thing that they're beating us over the head with the, the, the losing our guns and about the gay stuff, about the abortion. Anything that fundamentally is not right, the left seems to be pushing real hard. If you do a little bit of Bible study, to my understanding, the Bible is always telling you that all the good stuff is on the right hand side and all the bad stuff is put on the left hand side. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. It's funny how that can also play out in real life, ain't it? This whole abortion thing just still blows me away. And what has happened to our judges? I mean, really, what has happened to our judges? That is just plumb crazy. Nowadays, you can go to any judge that you want in one of the higher courts especially and you can pay him off that's how I take it and he is going to rule in your favor that's why if you notice when they start taking Trump to court over uh, some of his stuff like the travel ban and all that did you notice that they went to the west coast and they got some of their party affiliated judges it's amazing how that works and we're so busy that we're not supposed to know we ain't supposed to notice that. We're not supposed to connect the dots. Folks, we need to be connecting the dots. The thing is, along with it, I'm connecting dots for you today. The thing is, is that they keep us so damn broke taxing us to death. But if you do your math on all the taxes that you actually pay, you're paying well over 50% of your earnings in taxes. That's a fact. protein drink to napkins at that some of my morning meds I have to take protein make sure I have protein with it I'm not big on breakfast so grandma got me protein drinks you know you're paying anywhere from 
Well, let's just say uh, as a nation, we're averaging around 30%, 25 to 30% on our income tax. Is that fair? Now uh, you got property tax if you own your place, school tax. You got your tax at your grocery store. You got your taxes at Walmart and everywhere else. Buy a car, you got taxes on it. You got your ad valorem tax. You got your... I think they probably did away with the death tax, didn't they? I mean, you couldn't even die in this country for free. I was waiting to see them start telling some people, no, you can't be dead. You got to get up and pay your taxes. But they keep us so busy hustling and trying to make a living that they want us to be distracted. And boy, has that been working for them. I'm going to cover a little bit of that Sunday morning in a roundabout way. Which reminds me, if you want to uh, start getting on the winning side, Sunday mornings at 9 a.m., we share the word. If you've been missing it, we've got about nine of them, I think. I think I've did about nine Sundays now. Go into the playlist. And Sunday Morning Word is what I think I named it. I need to put a couple more of them over there. Play a little catch up. It don't hurt, I promise. Only way it hurt is if the evil one has got control of you. He might try to distract you. Kind of like our government, huh? Ain't that amazing? Well, I'm concerned about our nation. I'm concerned about some of these elected idiots that we've got. And i tell you right now, the best thing that we can do as a people for our nation is to be aware of what our elected idiots are doing, the one that you're voting for. Be aware of what they're doing and what they're saying. And I don't mean what they're saying during election time either, because then they're going to tell you what you want to hear. Be aware of what they're saying away from election time when they're not trying to beg for your vote. That's the only time you're important is come voting time. You know, all this nonsense, helping all these illegals and all this stuff, that we have Americans that are doing without. Ain't that amazing? It bugs me, especially the veterans and the children that are in the street. That ain't right. Ain't right for a minute. Something else I was thinking about this morning. Now, we've got these that are trying to push for a socialist country. A socialist agenda. And they're wanting to tell us how great it is if we allow the government to take control. Because government knows best. And they're going to divvy out on these social programs to make everybody equal. Well, first off, I have a problem with their idea of equal. Because I think that if I work for a living and you don't, I should be more equal than you are. Yeah, how you like that phrasing? But, we have the Democratic Party that has been putting in these socialist ideas and social programs 
welfare, HUD, and all that stuff, right? Look at their inner cities. What a failure they are. <coughs> and they're ran normally by the Democrats, elected Democrats in that area. But yet they're not doing good, and that's their socialist programs. Huh. That's interesting. You want to go back farther than that? I watched a lady. She was a Native American, actually from California. And she got going on and told you that if you want to see a, an example of the socialist uh, agenda and works, you can see it here in America. She said, go to any reservation. Because the government took control of all the Indians a long time ago. And we're going to take care of you. And until of late, it was real uncommon for them not to have electric, water, sewer, any of the basics. They still have that issue on some of the reservations. But some of them have got their casinos and stuff going and have helped themselves. It's amazing how that works. So we have two examples right there about your socialist nonsense. It ain't working. Not for a minute. It ain't working. And there are countries that they try to point out, if they haven't gone bankrupt, they're on their way to it. Folks, whenever you have the working class that's paying in 100% to the non-working class, the working class gets tired of it and they quit working. The cost of everything skyrockets because the government wants to get their share or what they think is their share. That ain't what we was founded on at all. And since I'm telling you things that are biting me in the butt this morning, Let's talk about these Muslims that are getting voted into office and trying to change us to a Muslim country. That don't work for me either. <coughs> How could we forgot 9-11 so quickly? And when we was hollering about the Muslims back during the 9-11, everybody kept telling us, don't put them all in the same group. We have good Muslims too. But where the hell are they? Is that what you elected to office? Michigan? New York? What the hell were y'all thinking? There's a third one there too. I can't think of it. I want to say Minnesota, but I could be wrong about that. Is that your idea of a good Muslim? If it is, you need to learn the definition of good. You are pushing for a religion, a political religion at that, because it ain't a real religion, it's politics is all it really is. And I mean the Muslims, period. You're pushing for uh, a way of life 
that holds down women and people that don't want to fall in line to them. Do y'all realize that the Muslims still have slaves? Here in America, we have people that it was never was a slave. They don't know anyone that was a slave, but they're still hollering that they're affected because their great-great-grandpa was a slave. But yet you want to vote in these idiots that still have slaves. Really? You have people that's hollering how women are being treated as second-class citizens in the U.S. America. But you're, you're voting in these idiots that are part of a political agenda and a, a nationality or whatever the hell you want to call them that say women have no rights. None. And you must hide yourself. Because if you get raped, it must be your fault. It ain't got nothing to do with that Muslim man controlling himself and his urges. It must be the woman's fault. And if she doesn't have three other males to witness her being raped, it wasn't rape. If she does get raped, she gets put in jail or killed. Because it was her fault. Really, people? And this is what you're voting in? Have y'all got a clue what the hell you're thinking? Because I don't. But if I point any of that stuff out, somebody going to put some kind of phobia tag on me. Have you noticed I'm a pretty good sized boy? Go ahead. I got the broad shoulders. I can handle it. <coughs> I don't have a problem calling out the truth. How's that for a Thursday morning rant? Wonder how many subscribers I'll lose. I don't care. I'll not be silenced. Now we've got a saying on this channel, no sugar added. There's your dose. I'm all about him. And if you're all about him, you try not to lie. You try not to distort the truth. Good Lord told me, Jesus did, in his word, that if they hate you, it's because they hated me first. He is the way, the truth, and the life. <coughs> so you want to know why they don't like him? You want to know why they hate Jesus? Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. They don't like the truth. They don't like the light being shined upon them. And if you're telling the truth, that puts them in the spotlight. And evil likes darkness. Whether it's literally the darkness, that's why most of your crimes happen of a night. Or whether it's because the people are blinded and they can't see the truth and the light. It's amazing how that works. That's all I got for you this morning, folks. Just early morning rant. But y'all hope I don't sort of get up too early too many more times this week. Y'all remember, God loves you. So do I. I'm just trying to help you connect some dots and see in the light. Y'all have a blessed day now. Bye.